Okay, I'm going to do the little envelopes today. All right, now, as you know, the size of my journal, what pages from the last video my pages were, okay, which is about sort of five and three quarters, okay, I left it about nine and a half, and then I done an overhang of about three and three quarters around there, or but, you know, but then again, you can change that, you can make it slightly smaller or slightly bigger, depending, you know, when you come to fit your journal together, you might need to pull it over a little bit, all okay, you can, you can adapt it, all right, so I'm going to show you how I do one envelope, well, one envelope, one, it's not a proper envelope yet, just that bit, okay, cover that, which I'm going to do it with snippets, this one, I'll do my both envelopes with the snippet rolls that we've done. All right. Now, this is this is where, oh, yes, you could do it all in one panel. You know, you can do which I will do some of the pages to show you that as well, because we use the same colour palette because we, we've got that, you know, in a tub near us. So, again, it's going to correspond, or you can do something totally different. It's up to you. But I'm going to show you how I do it from the snippet rolls. Okay, because I, I, I find sometimes sort of a bit of magic happens really because as you, when you see this whole page and you go and do that whole page, it can be quite uniformed, you know, which is, again, if that's the way you like to work, do so, you know, but I quite like things, creating things that are a bit different. <laughs> so I've picked out two that I felt went together nicely and I'm going to lay it down there and I quite like the fact that that will overlap that bit there no, pull that down a bit because I quite like that edge there like that and then that goes over there yeah and let's pull that so there's no gap there yeah we got a gap here but cut off these bits one we can use you know for a tag or something and then we can fill in here all right so that's that right, just pin it when oh, you don't need bonder web a lot of people have said oh they can't do it because they haven't got no bonder web pin it because i only don't use that last bit of bonder web i haven't got any now so i'm pinning all mine and i'll just pin it through the middle because i'll sew around the outside before i do anything else anyway so they can stay there. I'm getting better at putting pins in now. See, well, in one minute I'm left-handed, then I'm right-handed. <laughs> uh, let's put some pins in there. Oh, I need to come over a bit. Like that. <clears throat> Invest in a better pair of scissors one day. That's it. No, that's fine. Right, and the bit we cut off, let's fill in here. Um, let's have a look, see if there's any. Oops. <laughs> Oh dear. Pin that. And then I'll just trim lo loosely around that. So trim a bit more after. And that, that piece there on something else could actually be a little tuck spot. Do you see it on a page? You could use that. Yeah, I'd have to cut that top off to match that one, but 
you could utilize that. I know this is what you've got to think about. <laughs> An edge with lace. You have a tuck spot on a page that you could use. So that goes into another pile, so I don't forget. That can be made into a tag later on, a bit smaller maybe, but you might use that for something else, yeah, or pocket or anything. Right, okay. So I've covered that, so I'm going to go and go ahead and stitch around that. I'm not going to worry about any lace around that for a minute. But I'm just going to stitch what we've done there. And I'll do it that side. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Right. I've done those two. Okay. That's that one there. And I think that's the one I showed you what I was doing. All right. Which is there crazy right so if it's too bright um i suggest you you know put a bit of net over it or tone it down a bit that's not quite that's not quite thick enough that one had to be a thicker one but i don't i actually don't mind it so i think i'm gonna leave mine right now but you must finish this outside before you sew the lining in all right because it hides all the stitching and I haven't got much stitching yet but it hides all that now if this is mine is still quite thin but if yours is a lot thicker okay you don't have to use a thick lining but because mine's a bit thin I'm going to use a thicker or heavier weight fabric because I need some sort of substance I know we're gonna have a pocket so not a pocket you know here which that that feels okay, but still not quite thick enough. But then that's going to be lined and that's going to be lined. Yeah. And it's just this bit here. You know, it's quite floppy. But if you like it like that, then fine. But you can decide on just a heavier weight lining. And then that will give you a little bit more substance to it. So I'm going to finish one of these. All right, just to show you how to totally finish the pocket. So you've got to think about... Um, where it's going to go. Is it going to go, you know, that side of the signature, the, the journal or that side? But I'll say, I'll go to my left and then, you know, sort of decorate really and then put some lace around here. Because I want to show the whole thing finished, I need to decorate it. I don't, don't worry about the buttons and things like that. I am worried because they, they can go after. But I sort of like try and cover up the lines where we've had the join and things like that. Actually, I'm just going to cut that down a bit, I think. So it's just bits of lace, you know, and cut shapes out. Just to get a bit neater there. Hmm, I don't know the heart actually. I think that is going to go sort of there, like that. And then we can always, because I'm going to have like a button or something for a closure. So that can, that can go, you know, here. Hmm, need something else. Let's have a look. I'm not sure. Oh, that's quite nice. And then sort of like that, I think. Right, I'm going to go and stitch that on. I quite like that. Just going to stitch over it, have a bit of fun again. <laughs> and the same is here. If you, um, because that's going to be the back of the page, so we need to, you know, whereas you could put your fabric printouts, which I think I'm going to have that one there, like that.
I might just glue that so it stays straight. Right, yeah. I know I got a certain part to here. I got I got to a certain part with the envelope, and um, the camera must have stopped because I didn't video any of it. So luckily, I got another one. So I just, um, <clears throat> you know, all I done was lined it and everything. But I show you on that one, and I put a little label on there because that's my left. Because when you do these pockets, you've got to remember that one is on the left and one is going to be on the right. So when you decorate that, make sure, you know, that or else it might be upside down. Any of the things that you add. All right, so I'll show you how to do that. Right, another thing that I do that I forgot to tell you, sorry about that, is I make templates for the envelope pocket, you know, because that's going to go. So we need that for that. So just to cut out everything out of fabric, because I... I use that because I'm not very good at cutting fabric with a, you know, that rotary cutter. I just can't do it. So I draw a line and then cut it. That's the way I do it. And also I made a template for the envelope there and for the page. All right. So that's the lining. I cut that on the outside of the pencil line. So it's just, or just leave a little bit as well, just so that you can... Um, it's slightly bigger, all right? Or else you might get into trouble like I've done before. So I like it slightly bigger. Right, so I've gone ahead and decorated this, all right? I haven't put any lace around there yet, which I'm not worried about that for now, all right? But I'm just gonna show you how I line it. So literally, well, there's probably most of you know, I'm not very good at any of this. I know there's ways of doing pockets and things all in one piece, but no, can't do that. Okay, so I will push, I would pin that on and then I'll actually sew it from the other side. All right. I think I got, hopefully I got that far. I'm sure I did. I'll put it in. It stays put there in that corner. Perfect. Right. Okay, that's that done. And then you trim round. I mean, if you've got really nice fraying material, you could fray all that. All right, which actually looks really nice. But I am just going to trim around. Do you know what? This is why I like these, doing it out of snippets and bits of odd things, because it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Because, you know, like I say, I'm not a sewer. So to do this is just great, because I can do something involving fabric, and it doesn't have to be precise. And neat. <laughs> and I might actually leave that on there. Let's have a look. Because that will... I don't mind that, see? Um, no, no, I won't because I haven't got it up there. If I'd had it all the way round, it would have been all right. But I haven't, so make a decision and cut it off. Because I'll most probably have lace and then anyway later, so it be hidden. There we go. Right, so the next thing we've got to do is make the pocket. So you can either, again, do it out of snippets, piece of snippet, or you can, um, you know, start a new bit. It's up to you, because for quickness, I've done all these out of snippets, so. And that 
go about there, which, but that way. <laughs> right, so you cut a piece like that, all right, with the template because I made it to fit that way, like so. Slightly in a bit so it doesn't come out because sometimes you can gradually get bigger and bigger, so slightly smaller. And then I just literally folded it like that, cut <laughs> just to get that little dip going on there. So that's and it'll fold there, so that's about right. It gives you enough enough room for adding lace if you want to or whatever. Okay, so I've already prepared it ready, so to save time somewhere. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. You've got to make sure if you decorate it. Oh, I haven't decorated it, but. Right, was that going to go that way or that way? That way. I'm going to come down a bit because I actually want to cut that off. Okay, I decided I don't like this bit. And also because this bit is going to be sewn in to the you know the spine we need and I, I don't really want that it's a bit chunky so i've made it slightly bigger for it to come down when i sew it on but like that all right but firstly bits in a bit roll and then patched up everywhere else and now i'm going to just go and sew around that okay which i actually need the pins a minute might get away with it just put that one in there, out of the way, because I sew from the other side, so we can see the shape of it. Which I don't think I need that one. No, we're all right. Okay, so I'm just going to sew around there. Okay, so sewed it on i just come up it's really weird i was just doing this and i thought oh my gosh wouldn't it be nice for anybody that saved their um child's rompers you know their little onesie things that they wear when they're the baby they're, they're always in it aren't they when they're first born i can't remember the name onesies is it and um made a whole journal from one of those and then put the baby pictures in oh my gosh that would be such a wonderful keepsake wouldn't it so at the moment that looks a bit wonky as well but I haven't ironed it, so it's not wonky. <laughs> it won't be when I've finished. Right, I'm going to go and stitch on that, and that's the pocket finished. Or shall I add a bit of lace to it while I do it? Mm. I do want a bit of lace on it. Did I add lace on the other one? I don't think I did, did I? No. Oh, well. Never mind. I won't then, and I'll do it after. Okay. Okay. All lined, all done, all right, and then that's for that side, but I don't need to put right on that one because I put left on that one. <laughs> I think I can do that, all right. So that's that done. Right, on with the pages now. <laughs> 